Happy Wednesday. Today I'm gonna try this recipe. It is Chipotle chicken thighs with chunky guacamole from the Food Network. I only have to modify a few things. I am doubling the recipe, but I'm not gonna double like some of the ingredients that it calls for because it calls for like carrots. Carrots aren't keto, but I bought some organic carrots, so I'm probably gonna add one instead of whatever it asked for. And then I'm gonna boil the rest to make some baby food. So yeah, cook with me. Watch what I do, if you want. You don't have to. Here we go. It tells you to do it in a recommended Dutch oven or large high-sided skillet with the lid. That's a high-sided skillet that I have, and I have a lid to it. So we're gonna start off by getting some olive oil in here to warm up and season our chicken up. So step one is to get your chicken thighs it calls for eight. I'm doing 12 because that's how many came in the package. That's why I'm gonna double it a little bit, but season it with some salt, pepper, and paprika. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I am. So our next step is going to be to brown these chicken, these chicken, this chicken, on both sides. Remember, I put a little bit of olive oil in here already. So while our chicken is browning, we're gonna go ahead and chop up one carrot. Now I'm gonna um, peel and boil the rest for some baby food. So the recipe calls for one carrot, well, more than one carrot because I'm doubling it, but we're doing one carrot, peeled and chopped, one onion, two garlic cloves, and two tablespoons of fresh thyme. We're gonna get all that prepped. All my veggies prep, I have two onions, one carrot, because I really don't wanna use carrot. <laughs> Have some thyme here that I got. I'm gonna um, also need two, maybe three, since three of these. Can I have some mix? Garlic. Three tablespoons, about. You can okay, so the chicken is nice and brown. We're gonna cook it more later, but we're gonna take it out for now. So next up, we're gonna. So next up, we're gonna brown this chorizo that I got the other day into the same pan that the chicken was in. What I forgot to say is that I, we also need to add one chipotle pepper, finely diced, and then we're also gonna add this, the, some of the sauce to the pan later on. So yeah, so this is officially all the vegetables that we need. Now when you do the chipotle, you wanna take all the seeds out as much as you can because chipotles can be a little spicy. Okay, and over here our chili is browning. And that's it for now. Okay, so we are just browning the chorizo still. So. I think this is gonna be like really good. Okay, so now our chorizo is pretty much well done. It's always a little difficult to see when it's done because it spiced so much that it just looks red. But I've been making this so long, for so long that I kinda know when it's done. <laughs> A good 10 minutes or so, maybe less. So we're gonna put this, take this out, put it on a plate, and saute our veggies in here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add in our veggies. Two onions, one carrot, three tablespoons of uh, minced garlic, two tablespoons of thyme, and one chipotle. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cover this and let this kind of uh, get softened for about, let me see, well, let me look at the recipe, seven minutes. Okay. Okay, so next I'm gonna make my um, avocado. What a beauty, what a beauty. Okay. So we're just gonna leave it kind of chunky.
Okay, so now we have our avocado chopped up. Add a little bit of lime juice so it doesn't brown. And <clears throat> give it a good mixing. It says to add tomatoes in here, but I don't like that. I don't like tomatoes with my avocado. <laughs> so I am gonna add a little bit of red, or what is it, red or purple onion, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> okay, and salt and pepper. So this is like how much onion I'm gonna chop up very finely and add to here, not very much. I like the flavor that it gives, but not everybody enjoys this, so I don't put a lot. And there we are. The little one's getting a little restless over there. Gotta go tend to him. Okay, it's been seven minutes. Our onion, garlic, and carrots are pretty much done now. So, we have to add a can of crushed tomatoes. So you can use whatever kind of crushed tomatoes you want. I'm doing a fire roasted. Um, so this whole can is about 12 net carbs, and I understand these might not be keto keto, but mainly for the flavor, and I'm not going to eat them. <laughs> I probably will eat the flavor of them though. Okay, so we're gonna let this go. I'm gonna add in a cup of chicken broth and let it get to a boil. Okay, in goes about a cup of chicken broth. Okay, and like I said, we're just gonna let this come to a boil. Um, after it comes to a boil, we are going to add the chicken and the chorizo back into the pot and let it simmer. For this pot, I totally forgot to add in some of the adobo sauce. So I'm going to try to see if I can pour in a little bit. It's at a tablespoon, so that's enough. Okay guys, so now we're in the final stages. We have a rolling oil here. See if you can see, kind of. Okay. So we have it boiling. I'm going to go ahead and add back in my chorizo. Never made this before, but... It sounded really good. So I'm gonna give that a mix. I don't know if it's supposed to be kind of like a soup or what exactly, or if this comes into like a sauce or I don't know, but we'll see. Okay, so now I'm just gonna add in my chicken. Tell you what, it looks and smells really good. Like the chorizo smell is really good. So, um, it says once it's done and plated, you can serve it with tortillas, but of course we're not going to do that. I do have romaine lettuce hearts, so I was thinking of using that kind of like a tortilla. But we'll see. <laughs> okay. So now we are going to heat this until it's bubbly again. I'm going to clean up my kitchen and then you'll see when I plate it. Okay, so there it is. I did cauliflower on the bottom, the chicken breast, avocado on top, I mean chicken thigh, avocado on top, and you can see the little pieces of chorizo. I'm going to eat it with a side of lettuce. So, let's eat. See if you like it. Oh, I like the carrots. Damn, so good, baby. Well, that's kind of like soupy if you want a soup. There's soup in the pan with it. Well, guys, dinner was really good. I had like two chicken thighs and some of the sauce on top and some cauliflower rice. Hit the spot. Um, I don't know if I told you, but I am still fasting, so that was my first meal of the day. And my fast for the tomorrow started about 6 p.m., so we'll see if I can, uh, or, you know, I'm tracking with this app. I'll uh, I forgot the name of it, but I'll put the link down below. <laughs> I'll also put the link to the recipe down below in case you want to try it. It was really good. Um, but I'm just sitting here. My baby just fell asleep for his like daily 5 to 6 p.m. nap. <laughs> um, watching the news. If you're from the Houston area, then you know it's getting ugly. Houston, for some reason, floods like so quickly. Last night, we had so much rain. And I really was praying that nothing came inside. Thank goodness nothing came inside. However, tomorrow and Friday, it's supposed to come back and it's supposed to be like even worse. So praying that it does not come in. We don't get any water in the house. So pray for me too. 
Um, but yeah, just watching the news and kind of staying on top of that. We've already stocked up on water and I already have plenty of stuff um, in the fridge. Well, meat that we can barbecue if we do lose electricity and whatnot. But yeah, um, going to sit here too and watch or wait for my show, Jane the Virgin. Anybody else watch that? I love it. So yeah, going to go ahead and call it a night, guys. Um, I'm going to try not to take so long to make another video. It's just been a little hectic in my life recently. Um, but yeah, you guys have a great night and I'll see you next time. Bye.